Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Just wanted to show you the madness that is my apartment right now. So these are dishes that I have to put away. I also am ripping apart my closet because I'm just over my clothes and I need to do some spring cleaning. So I pulled out every jacket I own out of my jacket closet, going to try each one on and I'm donating a bunch of stuff. Like I haven't been making too many Poshmark sales lately so I think I'm just gonna take that Poshmark bag and just donate it all because I'm sure you guys have this too where like you have a bag sitting in your car or the back of your closet and it's just a bag of all clothes that you're never gonna wear. You're trying to sell them but they're not gonna sell and it's just taking up space, it's taking up clutter. I need to get rid of it. I'm going to put these dishes away. I'm gonna make another coffee. I need to repaint these nails. Let's get it going. I needed to pause. That was an aggressive intro. I just wanted to say hi. If you're new here, my name is Laura. Welcome. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. I make a lot of videos about living my life here in New York City apartment things, clothing, wellness, lifestyle, all of that. So subscribe. I don't know what's gotten into me. I just want to start over with everything. So I'm gonna try all these on. jackets that's the question here so short. Was I thinking was I buying a Beetlejuice costume like what all I can think about is how much money I wasted on these clothes but then I try to like talk myself into it and be like oh maybe if I didn't have a shirt on and I wore this button with like leather pants that would be nice this is why cleaning out your closet so hard especially because I have an emotional attachment to most clothes in my closet so this just looks like I'm trying to wear like kids clothing Please look at how crazy this is. Here are the bags that I'm starting to put together to bring to Goodwill. And I just dumped all of my sweaters from up here, threw them down here, and I'm gonna try them on and get rid of whatever I don't want. I'm like on another level today. Okay, so here is the progress. I'm so happy that I reorganized and refolded everything and now nothing is falling on top of me like it was before and I will show you what I'm getting rid of. So these are the two bags that I need to bring to Goodwill. I just got an Amazon package in the mail. I'm trying to find the perfect fit of biker shorts and I wish these were just a tad bit shorter. I feel like they kind of look too long on me for what I'm looking for. So the search continues. These are really nice because they're like a ribbed material, which I was really looking forward to, but I think they kind of just make me look shorter when they're longer, if that makes any sense. This is what I thought I was buying. That's like the perfect length in my opinion, and they don't look like that on me at all. <laughs> That's the brand in case you're wondering. I'm back, and I'm gonna make a smoothie because I'm hungry. And honestly, I'm a little low on groceries and I want it to be like a healthy snack. 
I just snacked on some watermelon. How many times am I going to say snack? I want something sweet, obviously, hence smoothie. I'm going to use this blueberry cobbler protein powder and we're just gonna go for it. I guess I'll just walk you guys through like how I make my smoothie because most of the time I just show you visually and play music over it and I don't actually tell you like what I do. So I already had a banana with breakfast, but you know what? We're gonna have a second because you can't make a smoothie without a banana. Actually, I used to use frozen cauliflower. I do one banana, a handful of spinach. Um, I need almond milk. I just eyeball it, honestly. Spirulina for extra greens. It smells so fishy. That it literally smells like fish food. Some maca powder to balance hormones. I need all the hormone balancing I can get. Hashtag crazy. Just kidding. A little bit of that. I guess I'm gonna do a, oh shoot. Sometimes this kitchen really gets on my nerves. Like it's way too small. Chia seeds, a scoop of those. Honestly, I switch between chia and flax seeds, but gonna go with the chia today so a teaspoon of that scoop of protein and then last thing frozen blueberries like maybe a half cup honestly I just eyeball everything and then we wake the entire neighborhood with how loud my blender is because this ninja is ridiculous if I can even get this lid on so one of you guys actually recommended, and this might be a good tip for you guys as well, to lessen the noise of the blender. Put a towel or like silicone or something underneath it. So I just put like a dish towel underneath the blender like laying flat. And then I take another dish towel and I like put it over top of it. I try to be considerate of my neighbors even though they're so loud. <laughs> sounds like a jackhammer that's how loud it is hey I'm back <laughs> um you know I was second guessing putting chia seeds in my smoothie and you want to know why I look like six months pregnant um chia seeds are the worst and that's why I don't normally eat them because they blow my stomach up like a balloon we're gonna head to Goodwill to drop those bags off and then TJ Maxx. If you watch my last vlog, I went to TJ Maxx and Airy, and that's basically what I'm doing again today. So I'm not gonna film this because it's stupid. Like you should go watch the other video. And yeah, I'll let you guys know what vase I end up buying, but I showed you guys in the last vlog the pompous grass that I bought from TJ Maxx. It's so cute, but it's not in the right vase, so. Once I get back, I will let you guys know whatever I picked up. Also, I painted my nails because I am pinching pennies and honestly, I think getting your nails done is the biggest waste of money of life because it's so temporary. I do like to treat myself to a pedicure every now and then, but my toes aren't out yet. I can do them myself for now. It's like a Revlon gel. If you do your nails too, I find that the gel polishes just are better. Okay, let's go. Hey guys, I'm back home. I only made it to Goodwill. It's so funny, ironic, that I complained that I had too many jackets because what do you think I did? I came home with two more. I dropped my bags off in Goodwill and then I was like, let me just look around. I just want to see like what the men's section has. Well, did they have? First thing that I found when I was in the men's section was this button down. I love the color of this. It's like a Kelly green color and just feel like you can do so many things with button downs. And it's like the perfect oversized fit. I found this jacket from Zara. Oh, by the way, this was $8. I'm so thrilled about these prices. And then this jacket is from Zara. It's like a navy blue and black plaid i love the fit of this i'm really into it especially like i feel like this is good to like throw on it's gonna be great okay i love so the last thing 
it's a little odd and I saw it it wasn't even hanging up on one of the racks it was literally on the floor and I was like that looks interesting it's called a sailing jacket and it's basically like a rain jacket but it's so cool because it has like this number 38 on the back and then it has a three on the front I don't know I thought this would be so cute with jeans I don't know I think it has potential You might see it on my Instagram soon. If you think I'm crazy, you can let me know. It's totally fine, I get it. We're all friends here. Hey guys, good morning. Happy Saturday. So I've already had two cups of coffee. I've been doing a bunch of like YouTube stuff. I did my normal morning routine with like journaling, editing some things for YouTube for my video that's going up today because I post every Saturday. And then, what else did I do? So Sunday, we have a rumble class booked, surprising, but um, that's just like our normal fun thing to do on the weekends. I'm really getting into boxing lately, so it's a good workout, and I feel like I'm getting better at it the more I go. But I want to make my green juice this morning, but I don't have any spinach. I ran out. I'm trying to not spend as much money at the grocery store. Like, I go every other day, and it's so bad. But I wanted to start my day off with green juice. So yeah, I also will probably, I don't know if I'm like gonna go out to eat. Like it's so weird. Like I just have a solo day to myself, which is really nice. Oh, I also wanted to go to this flea market. It's called Chelsea Flea. So I think I'm gonna walk down there. The weather looks beautiful. I think it's a little cold. So I'm definitely gonna have to bundle up, but I will show you guys my outfit when I'm ready. Also the key to making it taste like a juice you would buy out is I always add apple cider vinegar it just gives it like a tangy kick and then I add cayenne pepper it's so good and dump it all over the place what a mess oh this celery is frozen because my refrigerator so cold so that's great so she turned out like a shamrock shake normally it's not this green this is very interesting as i'm getting dressed i forgot that i need to water my plant and actually one of you guys this is why i always am asking you so many things in videos is because you guys are so knowledgeable and help me but I was complaining that my plant is not doing well and someone suggested hydrogen peroxide so I'm literally just gonna put like one drop in water and hopefully this saves him he's not doing well as I said I don't have a green thumb unfortunately it's just it's not my thing so speaking of journal I wanted to share this with you guys so I was actually going to purchase this five minute journal but they ended up reaching out to me and gifting this to me, which I'm so happy about because this aligns perfectly with my channel and everything that I promote. So I can't wait to start writing in this every day. I feel like a lot of times I rather talk face to face. So a lot of times with my journaling, I just write what's going on in my life. I don't follow like any guidelines. So I think this is really good to just check in with yourself like I was saying before. So it has what I'm grateful for, what would make today great, daily affirmation, highlights of the day, and what did I learn today. So you start it in the morning and end at nighttime, and I just think this is a really good thing for like your mental health. I'm very excited about this. So yeah, I was going to buy it off of like Amazon or something, but I was so happy when they reached out. They also sent this Let's Get Closer card deck. So basically, this is a card game and it helps you get to know people better so there's like different levels you have close closer and closest this isn't sponsored by the way but if you guys are interested i will leave the information down below in case you want to get this yourself also going to wear these sunglasses because it is pretty sunny out there today i cannot get enough of these they're like the perfect tint because i hate when they're too dark and you can't see anything i always feel like i end up taking sunglasses off because i'm not able to see where i'm going but these are perfect these are from forever 21 i got them recently
just got finished at TJ Maxx, got my base. Now I'm gonna head to Zara and H&M, I think. Having a lovely day. Also, if you live in New York and you're in like the Chelsea area and you have to use a bathroom, go to TJ Maxx. Don't go to the one in Marshalls. Like, you know, they're like on top of each other because the one in TJ Maxx like never has a line. <laughs> You know, living in New York, there's limited resources with public restrooms, so just have to use them when you can. <laughs> It is five o'clock, so I left here at like 11.30, crazy, but wow, we have a lot to cover. So, okay, first thing, I had a package downstairs. I've been ordering sunglasses from Amazon and they've all been terrible. Sunglasses really aren't good to buy online because you can't try them on. So let's see, this jacket, I love it so much. I think it's a men's, but it's better like that no i didn't wash it after i thrifted it honestly i've done worse things that are harmful to me so oh these are not what i was expecting so i honestly thought these were going to be like a much darker tint let's see what they look like maybe i don't know i have to think about it but wow Okay, this is insane. We have two bags. H&M, this is so heavy, so annoying that I had to carry it around all day and then I had Forever 21. Also, I went to TJ Maxx and picked up this beautiful vase. I love this, so nice. It kind of matches this lamp. Ooh, so cute. Anyway, I don't know if you guys can see the pompous right here. I was gonna change it to this. Let's see if it looks good. Oh, perfect fit. Oh God, it's, it's perfect. It's pretty perfect. I don't know what to do with this. We'll put that there. Okay, I did a ton of cleaning of my closet. So I got rid of two full bags of clothes, which means I have to bring two full bags back into my apartment of new clothes because I'm crazy, yes. I got rid of a bunch of denim jackets because they're just like a weird fit on me and they're not in style right now. And I know it's not good to buy like super trendy items, but I don't wanna be wearing really tight clothes that look like I'm wearing like toddler's clothing. <laughs> That's what those jackets looked like on me. I didn't even bother trying to sell them on Poshmark. I picked up this denim jacket from H&M. And my major thing is I like when the sleeves are really baggy because then you can put like sweatshirts underneath it. All the ones that I got rid of, they're all like really tight on my arms and like really fitted. Oh, don't like that. So 
I really love this. The wash of it's really good. H&M just has really good fitting things, so that's why I picked this up. There's like no rips in it, which is good. I think this one's like a good investment. It's only 35 bucks too, so really good. I will try to link all this stuff for you guys, by the way. I try to link everything for you guys, but if it's not there, chances are it's old or out of stock. Next thing I picked up is this blazer. It's like a grayish taupe color. It's the perfect oversized fit again, and this was 35 as well. Love the fit of this, oh my gosh. I mean, do I need another blazer? No, not really, but I couldn't pass this up. I just love the fit of this one. And honestly, I would just wear this outfit. This is a medium, love. So that's another thing with H&M. I feel like a lot of their pieces are staple items where I'm not just gonna wear it one season and then not wear it ever again because a lot of the blazers that I have hanging on there are from H&M and they're from previous seasons. So, and then I also got these jeans that I love so much. You saw them in the fitting room, but I just think these are so unique. The fit of them is really baggy, but the waist is high and it's like fitted. I know low rise jeans are coming back in style, but I just can't do that. I don't feel comfortable with jeans being below my belly button. It just doesn't feel right anymore. We've been on the high waist train for very long and I just don't want to get off. So <laughs> yeah, I just think these look really cool. There's no pockets on the back, but I don't know. Just the way this is like pieced together and the seams. They give the vibe of cargo pants, but they're not. And I like that, so that's good. And then to go with these pants, I got this plain white tee. I always need basics, and this one's like the perfect length. I can't be wearing crop tops all the time, like let's be honest. And then I also got it in this sage green color. These were only $10, and I love the ribbed detail. They're just so easy to wear with jeans, and you look put together. You don't have to try. And then moving on to Forever 21, I got these cargo pants, which I've been wanting. So they're just plain black cargo pants. I love the fit of these. Honestly, I might get them in a different color as well. Like if they have them in green or something, I might pick that up just because I really like the fit of them. So they just have a pocket here and here and then two right there. And then another thing is I just I just don't want to wear tight jeans anymore. They're not comfortable. Like the ones I have on now are as tight as it gets. But I wear sweatpants basically Monday through Friday. So by the time the weekend comes around, yes, I want to put jeans on, but I want them to be as comfortable as possible. And then to go with this, I don't know. I have these seamless little bralettes from Forever 21. I have them in like four different colors. So I got it in another color. I love this gray color. It's just really nice. And I thought maybe with these pants, it would look cute with, oh my God. She didn't ring up my jacket. I bought a denim jacket from there and she didn't ring it up. I'm so upset. Wow, I'm so annoyed. I didn't pay for it though. Wow, I wasn't paying attention. This is the last thing. <laughs> then the last thing to go with that jacket that I don't have <laughs> is this little white crop top. I love the stitching up the front. It's like a lacing detail. Just thought it was really cute, especially I tried it on with these pants and I just loved it. That's my little haul. All of this cost around like $150, which is good. I'm gonna go online and see if I can find that jacket now. And I can't believe that I wasn't paying attention enough to notice that. I swear sometimes my head is just not there. It's just not there. Hi guys, I am exhausted right now. I think it's because I haven't drank 
water like all day today because like when I'm out shopping I don't consistently drink water because there's limited bathroom availability so I received this DoorDash like gift card um where did I receive this from so recently I placed an ASOS order and it had a ton of coupons in it so I'm chatting with their customer service because I'm trying to redeem this it's saying that this is for a first-time user but in order to check out, you have to create an account. So yeah, trying to deal with that right now. I'm like brain dead. Ordering Indian food. I'm so excited. I'm like craving that with like rice and naan, garlic naan. Oh my God. But I'm freaking tired. And I can't stop thinking about that jacket. <laughs> so hopefully I can get $10 off my dinner tonight. gonna try this samosa thing this was incredible look at the garlic on this naan this looks incredible can't wait to eat this that food was so good but now we're gonna get to some home improvement so you just get it all here on this channel, you know? I have multiple cracks in my kitchen, like along this part, all around, and it bothers me immensely. I also was thinking of getting like peel and stick tile to put here, but I don't know if I trust myself. So to give it a facelift in here, I bought this silicone scraper and silicone caulk. See, I don't even know the right name. And I'm just going to try this. Like, mind you, I am not good when it comes to things like that. I feel like I lose my patience and I mess things up. But I'm going to try to just take my time. I'm going to just do a small area, but, like, I'll show you up close. It looks really bad. I'm honestly so embarrassed by it, but, like, look at how gross that is. It's so annoying to me that, like, they didn't touch this up before I moved in. But what are you gonna do? I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, this scrapes it and it like makes the nice clean edge. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. I could be making this worse, but. Like this is very satisfying though. I'm like afraid there's gonna be like bugs crawling out of her. <laughs> And I felt like this was like a safe brand. I've used Gorilla Glue before. Just for sorority crafts though. Not home improvement in my kitchen. Can this even go on my fingers? I don't think so. I definitely don't think so. Oh no. I feel like I'm not using the right tools, but it's definitely looking a little better from far away. Not close up, but it's okay. It's a minor improvement, but I wish I could paint this or something. If you guys have any recommendations, please let me know. But it's just like still dingy, which is annoying because no matter what I do and how many times I like sweep through and do a bead of caulk and then like wipe it away, it still has like dinginess around the bead because of the old caulk and I can't scrape it away really. Hey guys, so I just got finished trying on all the clothes that I bought today. I always have to try them on again whenever I come home instead of like putting them away immediately because I feel like when you're in the fitting room, you can't really tell 
how they look because the lighting is like horrible in the fitting rooms so i think that's it for tonight i'm going to read my book for the rest of the night i'm gonna go take a shower right now but i just wanted to say that and keep you guys posted of what i was doing for the rest of tonight but that's about it and i'll see you guys in the morning Good morning just putting my shoes on getting ready to go to forever 21 before our rumble class it's not nice out today the weather sucks which is really unfortunate but it is what it is I just feel like sundays the weather has not been good sad we used to work out here and they closed because of the pandemic and it's just so depressing Gotham. that's what it is <laughs> white chocolate macadamia nut for the win <laughs> what? hey guys so i just showered wanted to end the vlog off but Wanted to show you, Leo brought me home this pharmacy beehive. If you guys have ever tried this, I've heard good things about the pharmacy, but we'll see how that goes. And then he also brought me a sweatshirt home. So nice. It's like perfectly oversized. And he also brought me home this little glass. <laughs> so cute. I also found that jacket from Forever 21. It was the last size. I was so happy that I found it. If you guys made it this far, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.